there, chummers, and welcome to the Sixth World. And you know, it's it's been a while since we've done uh, like an actual factual Shadowrun RPG review on this channel. Uh, and I thought we'd I thought we'd sit down and take a look at this little jewel that I found. Uh, it's kind of a, a it's not a full source book for Shadowrun Fourth Edition. It's more of a a mini source book. Uh, but this book is for Montreal 2074. Now, Montreal 2074, like I said, it is not a full source book like New Seattle or uh, Germany or London or some of the other location source books that uh, have been put out for Shadowrun over the years. This is a, a very short book compared to those weighty tomes. In fact, it's only 21 pages long, uh, and it's available through Drive-Thru RPG as well for about $6. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description below so you can pick up your own copy uh, if you want. Uh, but Montreal 2074 is is a very interesting book. I don't know if it was a part of a, a Shadowrun mission season um, or or whatever, but it, it's a it, it's a it's a very tiny source. It's a it's a snapshot uh, is really is what it provides of Montreal uh, and the Republic of Quebec in a larger sense uh, in the year 2074 in the Shadowrun Fourth Edition timeline, just after the death of Lucian Lucian Cross from Cross Applied Technologies and the Crash 2.0. So. It's set up fairly similar to any other 4th edition Shadowrun book that you'd find. You've got the Jackpoint blurb at the beginning. Uh, you've also got a little short story uh, to kind of set the, the tone for the book and set the, the themes um, of the book. And then it goes into kind of the history of Montreal. You've got some stats uh, behind it right here. Um, and you've got just a little bit of information about uh, the city of Montreal and what it's like living there in general. Um, and then it goes into the different neighborhoods of Montreal. You've got a, a nice little map right here kind of um, detailing not the entire city really, but giving you really a good snapshot of number one the uh, the physical location of Montreal and and what that looks like, and also where all of the different neighborhoods that this book talks about are located within the city proper itself. So this is a nice little addition. I really like this, and the book continues on. You've got some little. Um, uh, side blurbs right here in the in the different boxes and in the different incoming boxes. Um, you've got s items that set you up for your own plot hooks and adventures. If you want to, if you want to adventure in the city of Montreal, if you want to run a campaign there, or maybe if you just want to visit there, or maybe have your runners uh, go on a little bit of a, a little bit of a. I don't want to say vacation, but a little bit of a field trip to another sprawl uh, in another part of the world. Uh, the Like I said, the book is not, it's not long, but there's a lot of information in there. I was actually surprised at, at how much information is included in this book. You've got in the movers and shakers section, for example, uh, the movers, shakers, and bikers section, rather. This talks about uh, crime syndicates within Montreal and within Quebec uh, in a larger sense and, and how they operate. And it talks about the most important se uh, criminal sect, which is the, the bikers uh, of uh, Quebec and how they operate within Montreal. But then you also get, uh, you also get traditional organized crime rings like the mafia, the triads, different gangs, neo-anarchists and so on and so forth. And there's a lot of information uh, that is, uh, that's thrown in with how uh, that that details how these organizations operate within Montreal and within the Republic of Quebec as well. Um, and then you also have some unique things, uh, some unique uh, criminal organizations that uh, you'll find only in Quebec or only in Montreal. Um, and it talks about how those operate within the criminal underworld of the city uh, and within Quebec as a whole. And it's just it's it's really interesting. And then it goes into some unique corporate entities uh, that you'll find in 
the Republic of Quebec. Um, and then it also talks about a little bit about uh, Native Americans and how Native Americans are seen and perceived within the Repu- the greater Republic of Quebec. A little bit about Montreal, but this is just more general uh, nation building information uh, that you'll find about Quebec in the sixth world uh, rather than something that's specific necessarily to Montreal. And then there's a little bit of a blurb about uh, the awakened fauna that you can find. And at the end of the book, you have some contact stats um, and some things like that, which, yeah, it's, it's, it's a neat little book. It really is. It's, if you're looking for a setting that's a little bit different than what you're traditionally used to. Um, Montreal 2074 is a pretty good book, and it's $6 from drivethroughrpg.com. It's not that much of an investment, and I think what you get is, at the very least, you get a, an interesting little tome that talks about uh, an interesting little corner of the world, something outside of Seattle, outside of the UCAS in general, outside of that Pacific Northwest area. Uh, just give you an idea of something that's a little bit more, a little bit more unique. So, Montreal 2074. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I think I, th- I think I would. I think I would. If you if you want to know about the sixth world and about different nations in Shadowrun, and if you have a particular interest in Quebec and Montreal and French Can- uh, French Canadian, uh, I don't want to say French Canadian culture, but how f- how French Canadians uh, weathered the the trials and tribulations of Shadowrun, I think this is a a, pr- a pretty excellent little book. That's one of the things that. Um, I thought fourth edition was really good at it was it was providing a sense of of place and building these nations um, through and these settings throughout the sixth world and and making the world of Shadowrun feel bigger than just Seattle or just the UCAS um, or just that li- that little Pacific uh, uh, Pacific Northwest bump bubble uh, that a lot of the earlier setting operated in. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to put a link to the uh, I'm going to put a link to Drive Through RPG. Uh, in the description below so you can go ahead and take a look at it let me know what you think about this uh supplement as well do you have montreal 2074 is it something that you like is it something that you hate do you you have you used it um or uh what what how how have you made use of this little little tiny uh source book this mini source book let me know in the comment section below um i'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here but as always if you liked what you see leave a like and subscribe to the channel share it around get that youtube algorithm love going and get some more eyeballs on the channel and some more eyeballs on shadowrun as well if you want to support the channel directly we do have channel memberships available as well as a patreon and i will see you all next time And that's the chip truth, chummers. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Shadowrun content. Hit that notification bell so you will always know when I upload a brand new Shadowrun video. And until next time, remember to shoot straight and never, ever deal with a dragon.